Hey guys, Kevin here from you know where and this is sort of a gaming or restoration therapy I'm not quite sure how I'm going to label this but um, this is a legitimate therapy episode and I'll explain why I got some personal shit that I'm working on sorry about the lights being out in the background if you see them I may try to edit them out we'll see but I will be turning them on and you probably won't see much of me I'll try to probably do some voiceovers for the remainder of this because it's gonna be difficult for me to do this live and stuff it will also be painful I'm gonna be drinking good old-fashioned Budweiser throughout one of my least favorite beers of all time but um, this is what they had in tall cans so I got it one of the reasons I say that uh, this is an actual therapy is uh, yes I do this because it helps me deal with stress whether it's the gaming stuff or the restoration stuff but in the personal world of Kevin. I did have a back surgery operation last year. Found out recently that the operation was a failure and I have to have a second surgery to fix it. And uh, that's not uh, good news. So I'm actually wearing this nice back brace. Yeah. Uh, I may edit that out because it might show too much because I'm in tremendous amounts of pain. So by the time this video gets posted, I will have already had my second operation. So uh, one way to deal with my depression and my sadness and in my anger is to do what I love to do, which is both work on my job, which is software development, work on my hobby, which is gaming, retro style and restoration. So I went to the thrift store and I found this broken beauty, this original Xbox, formerly known as the Xbox One before the Xbox One came out. I got it for five bucks because I tested it out in the thrift store and it was broken. So I said, hey, this uh, disk drive doesn't open and uh, I don't know if it works. So may I please have a discount? So after a little bit of back and forth, they gave me a discount. So I figured what I would do with this one since I already have a working Xbox that's in much better shape. This one's got some deep scratches on it and I'll probably just use this one as like an emulator machine or something. What I want to do with this one is mod it. I'm going to keep my other one in original factory condition until the hard drive dies and then when the hard drive dies I'm going to do an actual board solder mod to pair it to a newer hard drive but this one I'm going to do that with software. So let's see if we can do this the whole way through. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm going to first do the, do this in parts. We'll first do the soft mod using the splinter cell mod and I will show you the piece that you need in order to accomplish this and where you can obtain them and I'm gonna be working with this uh, DVD drive that opens intermittently but it doesn't really open it actually I was unable to get it open by forcing it open it doesn't open consistently unless you can get a disc in there but once I actually got it open I did find out thankfully that the laser works now since I haven't opened it yet you can see that nothing's been torn apart on the bottom because there's a screw down here and here that's pretty difficult to get to uh, without actually punching a hole through here and yeah if you're very very good you can peel this stuff back without making it look bad I just kind of <laughs> right through just because I'm lazy and I don't know how to do it any other way so anyways let's get to it all right so let's start here with the splinter cell mod so you want to get this version of splinter cell from eBay or wherever you get your Xbox games. And this right here is going to be a cable that allows you to plug in a USB flash drive into your Xbox. And of course, gotta have a sip of beer. Because without that, we can't do our restoration therapy. So I'll plug this into my Xbox. And here is the other end. And here is the flash drive that I will be using. I will link it in the description below because the Xbox is pretty finicky on which flash drives it will use. So go ahead and fire up the Xbox and ooh, remember this yeah okay so the Xbox is on at least it's turning on okay now since my uh, disk drive is broken I'm gonna force it open by sticking a little thing through here that's a little paper clip stick it through there and holy goodness Looks like whoever owned this before tried to claw this thing open with something, but I got it open with this little guy here. And I'll stick my splinter cell disc in here, even though I'm not going to really use it just yet. And let's uh, grab our controller and just navigate to the memory menu. And you'll see that it freezes for a second. Right now, it's actually formatting that flash drive. This says that it's it's been erased. 
if the flash drive doesn't work, it'll go through like a series of blinks or something weird. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to controller two, which is where my flash drive is installed, and you'll see that it has the memory unit in there. And even though the Xbox did format it, I'm gonna format it again later. And uh, we'll get to that when we get there, but uh, here we go. This is how I know that the flash drive is working fine. So at this point, I know that I'm in good shape there. So I can just unhook it and say, all right, we're done with you, at least for now. So I'll go back into my memory and go to the Xbox itself. And I'm just gonna go through and delete all this shit that this guy or girl had on this before. And just, I just don't want this here. And I'll just go ahead and take a swig of beer. And let's do this. You ready? Here we go. Yeah, see this is what Budweiser does to you. It makes you do this really fast. Okay. So now that I've deleted all of this, I'm gonna go over to my computer and I'm gonna download 7-Zip. If you don't have it already downloaded, or if you do, you don't have to do this, and I'll download the Softmod Installer Deluxe, which I will link below, and of course, I'm gonna block this. And once I have this, I'll close my web browser, go to my downloads, and I'm going to uh, extract the Softmod Deluxe. And I'm going to then insert the USB stick that I had previously stuck into the Xbox. And it's gonna say, do you wanna format it? I'm gonna say cancel. But there it is, make sure that it does mount. And I'm selecting these to delete. And I will delete, I'm sorry, extract, and then delete the zip files of these items here. All right, so these are the items that I'm keeping. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is run as administrator the FATX formatter, select the USB flash drive, and then format USB. I'm gonna say, do you wanna format it? I'm gonna say, yes, I am. And this is gonna take a little while, but in my case, I'll just fast forward, and there we go, it is formatted. So by using this tool, it allows me to drag and drop stuff using these utilities. So I'm gonna cut and paste this to my desktop because for some reason these tools did not run for my downloads folder. So I'm gonna open up Explorer 360, file open, hard drive, remember memory, click on partition zero, and then I'm going to go to this directory and just drag this over to the root. And there you go, that's the Splinter Cell UData folder. The next one I'm gonna do is the installer, the USB installer, which is, let's go ahead and drag this folder here. All right, so that is the exploit installer. Well, not the exploit installer, that's the installer for what will be the, the new dashboard. All right, let me just make sure everything is cool. Everything looks awesome, all right. And I uh, should be good to go. All right, with my new USB stick that's been all prepared, I'm gonna stick this into my Xbox. And I don't know. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap these. I'm gonna stick the USB stick in port one and my controller in port two and power on the Xbox. Once we do this, we'll go over to memory and we will select the uh, memory unit one that's in the first controller port. And I don't know. And I'm going to then just look around. All right, cool, so we have everything. So if we go to the splinter cell, we'll click on sort of select copy. Copy to the hard drive. So we've copied the splinter cell save data to the hard drive. All right, then I'm also going to copy the installer to the hard drive. This is gonna take a while, so sit back with your brews and uh, do this. Oh, of course, only if you are of age. 
But I'll go ahead and speed this up for you. All right. You can delete them if you want, or just make sure you keep this USB stick around for if you ever need to mod another Xbox. Now, once we're, do once we're done this, I can uh, go to the hard disk and I can check to make sure that these two things are on here. So I have the Splinter Sale saved data here, which contains the hack, and I also have the installer. So we are in superb shape at this point. So now I need to get my little doohickey here because, uh, well, I wasn't really thinking ahead. This is what happens when you drink beer while you do this stuff. And I got to open this little guy up and stick my Splinter Cell disc back in the DVD drive very slowly for some reason. All right, now with the game in there, the game should then just launch. So here we go. All right, so now I'm going to swap out my USB drive from controller one and put my game controller in port one. And oh, here we go. We got some actual game action going on here. Yeah, you like this? Some good shit, right? All right, so the game is now loading. Okay, so once we get to this point, we're gonna go to start game, then we're gonna select the profile, which is Linux. T -t -t Today, Junior? All right, we're gonna, it's, we're gonna go here where it says checkpoints and we'll select that. All of a sudden the screen's gonna go blank. And you're gonna be like, what the f just happened? What did I do? BAM! You just got punched in the face. All right, so now we are in the soft mod installer deluxe. So before we actually go through with this, we're gonna back up a bunch of stuff. So back up, create EEPROM. So we're just backing up some stuff. So we'll do this, we'll back up the EEPROM. Go back to the main menu. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll back up the MS. We'll create MS backup. This might take a while. So uh, again, if you're of age, make sure you have a couple of beers with you. And we'll go ahead and back up the C drive. So go ahead and hit yes. All right, hit OK. All right, all right. You also saw that there was restore in there, so if you ever have to go back and restore this stuff. So here we go. Uh, I'm just going to do a standard and an install Unleash X dashboard. That seems to be a very common, simple one to use, and I'm going to install that on the C drive. Okay. All right, make sure that everything passes all the checking stuff. Hit yes. And again, Everything that you do here is going to take a while, so you might as well just sit back and relax. All right, there she goes. See, even the screensaver came up there, so you can tell that I walked away. This is being fast forwarded by a lot. Okay, so now it says you're good to go and ready to install, so we are installing. See, I'm just doing a voiceover. This is not happening live. All right, so now I can let me get my little guy here, pop this little sucker out. All right, here we go. All right, so the game disc is out. I'll just leave it open, why not? Just make it easy. All right, hit yes. And now, let's see. The Xbox is going to reboot. And now with the Xbox rebooted, check this out. Now we have done, we've completed the soft mod. Check this shit out. So now we have a completely different view. So we can just go through these new options. So we have some applications on here that came with the soft mod. And we have some system configuration stuff that we could kind of goof around with if we want. And we're gonna mess around with some of this stuff in a little bit when we set up our network and FTP and stuff like that. Let's see, what else can we do? We can actually go back to the original dashboard if we wanted to. Um, by going to this MS dashboard. So like if you wanted to change some other settings or whatever, 
that was with the original Xbox setup, you can do that right here. So it's almost like it never disappeared to begin with. So it's pretty awesome. So we have installed the soft mod. Step one complete. To verify that the soft mod is doing one of the things that it does, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to boot a burned game. So you can see that I actually have a legit copy and a backup copy of World Series Baseball. Now this is not a super great game, but I am a fan of the World Series Baseball series. But you can see, I just put in a burned copy of the game and now I'm going to reboot it. Now let's see if this modded Xbox will boot a burned copy of World Series Baseball. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> wow, look at that. We have a title screen, well at least the boot screen. Oh my goodness, Sega Sports. Gosh, I miss, I miss the old days, man, when Sega Sports was like actually on Sega consoles. Oh. Visual concepts. And there we go. Not the biggest Yankees fan, but I still love some World Series baseball, especially the older ones. So you can see here, I've gone through the entire process of booting from a burned game. So we can see that it works. Now we're switching to Corona Light because we drank all the Budweiser's. Okay, so the, <laughs> the burned game launched. Perfect, great. Now let's get this uh, thing on the network. Of course, let's make sure we're lubed up for that. So let's plug in our network cable. And we'll reboot it. All right, yeah, well, we got some green goo. All right, Xbox, awesome. All right, so now that we got our menu back up, we're gonna slide down here to system. You can see on the bottom right, it has like a static IP. We're gonna slide down here to network. And we're gonna slide down here to type. Instead of static, we're gonna go to DHCP so that my router will give it a an IP address. We'll go to then yes to save that. And then after that, we will then reboot the Xbox. We could do it through software or we can do it on the reboot button here. It's not a big deal. Either way, it should be fine. So now when the Xbox comes back up, we should have an IP address. So let's see. Look at the bottom right, all zeros. Bam, now we have an IP address on the local area network. Awesome, now you can see on the upper left hand side, the date is wrong, but that's just because the battery's dead. I'm not gonna fix that in this video, maybe some other time. Right now our Xbox actually has an FTP server running on it, so get your FileZilla up and running and let's connect to it so we can transfer some files to it. Why not? Or get files from it. So what I'm going to do is put the IP address here, normal, uh, normal connection. The username is going to be Xbox and the password is going to be Xbox. And then I will hit connect. Yeah, why not? Save this. Okay. All right. Connect. All right. Great. So here's all the different mounts that come on the hard drive. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to just, well, first I'm going to goof around here for a minute. Look at all the stuff. Wow. Whole bunch of cool stuff. Here's where the apps are. So when I get custom apps, I'll stick them there. All right, so let's actually do something cool. I'm gonna create a directory on my desktop and I will call it Xbox, no, Xbox Backup. And this is just in case I ever wanna do a restore, the hard drive dies or some crazy stuff. And on the E Backup folder, I'm just gonna copy everything down. And that's that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and unplug the controller here. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Have we gotten to this point? We are going to replace the hard drive with the new hard drive. So this is a cool little gizmo here that will allow me to take a SATA hard drive and make it an IDE hard drive. So I'm going to stick this here. This is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Can you believe it? The Xbox comes with an eight gigabyte hard drive standard. So I'm going to take these uh, torque screwdrivers or screw heads for my little screwdriver here and I'm going to replace the original hard drive like I said that was eight gigs with a 500 gig so I'm gonna slowly peel these little footsies back and then using my torque screw heads I am going to unscrew these four little footsie screws 
And once I get to the middle, some of you guys may say, Kevin, what are you doing? You're ruining the Xbox. But this is... how uh, I'm not cool, like I said in the intro. So I'm just going to finger my way through here until I find the indentation. And then I'm just going to go BAM! Poke right through and unscrew it. I know, I know. It's not pretty, but... Uh, finger this one. Uh, I realize how that sounds coming out of my mouth. Okay, puncture this hole here, unscrew it. And that should be everything we need to get this top off. So here we go. And if you notice in the beginning, I had a uh, little power splitter for, uh, for uh, you know, just typical standard one that you would get for a computer. We're going to need that. All right, so the top just came off. And here are the guts. Now I'm just going to blow some of the stuff out using the same Torx screwdriver. Take these two screws out and lift the DVD drive out. And I need to replace it with one of these guys that has uh, doubly the stuff. Sorry, I'm recording this and I don't feel like editing, so I'm not going to get technical. So I'm going to unplug the uh, IDE cable from the motherboard, which, uh, which would go here. And I'm going to replace it with this other. And so the IDE cable is going to carry uh, the same number of pins, but it has more cables. I just, off the top of my head right now, I'm not able to recall specifically the name. So, yes, call me stupid. I'm drinking beer as I do this voiceover. So... All right, now we're going to take this power splitter. So we'll, pl we'll take out the power from the hard drive and we'll plug one end into the CD. I'm sorry, the hard drive. Boy, the beers are catching up. And then we'll do one end into the other side of the new hard drive that we're going to be replacing. All right, now let's run over to the computer and we're going to download Chimp which will allow us to create a mirror image of the hard drive that came with the Xbox and um, just mirror that to the new hard drive that we're going to replace it with. So we'll take Chimp from here, stick it on the hard drive, and let's go ahead and open up our little FileZilla, and we'll connect to the Xbox, which we already have a connection that we created from before. I'm going to go to the E drive, go to Apps, Go to the draw, drag chimp over to the apps folder. And you should see that in there. And then once you're there, you should go to the chimp folder and then upload to the root of the E drive the Linux boot CFG file. Excellent. See that? All right. So once you have that, we should be able to use the application on the Xbox. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete Chimp from this computer because I no longer need it. All right, so over at the Xbox, we'll fire this sucker up. All right, the Xbox is now rolling. Okay, now we're back. Okay, so we'll go to Applications, and you'll see it labeled as XL Part X. And all right, so at this point here, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff. So what do we want to select? We want to select Fat X. Now it says booting. Now while we're at this screen, we're going to unplug the CD-ROM drive, and then we're going to plug that end into the new hard drive. So you got to do this fairly quick. You can see the strain on my face as I try to plug this in. All right, so now that we've done that, Okay, great. Oh, look at that. Scan drives. Great. So now we're good. Scan. Good. All right. So now, yes. Full disk. Yes. Copy those drives. Yes. Okay. Copying. 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 It's copying, folks. I am speeding this up quite a bit. Wow, look at all this copying that's going on. Okay, so now I want to lock the drive from motherboard. Yes. So I'll go over here and say, yes, I want to do that. And then once I do that, 
we should be in good shape. So let me shut down the Xbox. And at this point, I have a clone of the other hard drive. So I should be able to actually boot from this hard drive. So let's plug in the DVD drive. And I'm going to put this in the master position, which I forgot to mention before. This needs to be put in the slave position in order for that part to work. So now let's put this in the master position and plug everything in. And let's boot from this hard drive instead of the other hard drive and let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, look at that! It, it works! That's so cool. That's freaking awesome! That is for now, one, a couple things that you might you might see is that we don't have the full drive, but we're gonna fix all this in just a minute. So we'll go to format F drive because we don't have full access to the drive because we made a copy of what was on the other drive. So let's format the F drive. This is gonna take a while because, like I said, we have a very big drive, at least in comparison to what it was before. Bam. Okay. All right, so now that we've done all of that, let's stick the let's take the old hard drive out. Now keep this aside just in case. I'm going to I'm going to tape this around just so that I can keep this little doohickey on here because it's, it doesn't really stay in there very tight. I'll stick this in the chassis and let's screw it in. And so now the new hard drive has been put in place and I'm going to plug the DVD drive in place. Stick it back where it was. Now that's a little bit of a tighter fit because this cable wasn't designed to be here like the other cable was, but although it's tight, it still fits. All right, we'll put the top on. All right, we'll put the screws back in. Put this baby back together. Look at that. We'll shake it up. Look at that. Shake it up. Shake it up. Take the game out. That was in there. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is go download another tool called C Xbox Tool. All right, we'll download this feller. All right, here we go. All right, so let's download this, put this on our hard drive. Now, what are we gonna do with this guy? All right, so you'll, you'll notice on my desktop that I have World Series Baseball ISO. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna take this ISO, I'm gonna drag this over here, and I'm going to put this, I, I, I want to put this on the Xbox so I can just play it. But ISOs don't work on the Xbox. So once you have a game in the form of an ISO, you have to convert it. So I'm going to just use the tool as I'm using it. And drag it over, select the folder, do start. So what it's going to do is it's going to convert the ISO into a directory structure that the Xbox will actually be able to make use of. All right, so extraction complete. So now I have a directory here called World Series Baseball and it's got a whole bunch of cool stuff in it. So now with FileZilla open, we will then go to the F drive. All right, I'm gonna create a directory and I'm gonna call it games. And inside of the games directory, I'm going to upload. Well, for, next thing I'm gonna do is in my settings because the Xbox gets freaked out. I'm going to just make it so I can only upload one file at a time because it freaks out if you do multiple transfers at a time. I'm going to then upload World Series Baseball, the folder, to my Xbox. So once all these files are on that hard drive, all right, which it is now, I can then go over to my Xbox and then go to the games folder. I didn't reboot any, well, actually, I, I didn't reboot anything, so you can see there's no games there, but so if I reboot it now, all right, blah, 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 blah. kind of like flubber. <laughs> All right, now if I go to my games, you'll see World Series Baseball is there. Now there's no World Series Baseball disc in the console. So I'm playing this off of the hard drive. How about that? <laughs> Isn't that something? Ah. And it's playing exact, exactly as it was, right? Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh. Oh. With the exception that there's a, there's a New York Yankee on the front. Oh. 
Makes me so happy. Now let's see how bad I can play real quick. Ah, uh, all right. I think I'm. Yep. Right Oop. Side, Foul ball. So I know that I kind of went kind of fast, but uh, this is a uh, a lot of fun to do, and it's actually not that hard. So uh, at some moments you may need to pause. I'll write up some stuff in the description, but this is a really cool, fun, simple way to do a soft mod on an Xbox, where you can install. Uh, you know, like I said, a soft mod so you can play burned games, playing games off of your hard disk, and also replace the hard drive so that you can have a much bigger hard drive than it came with. So I hope you guys had a good time, and happy restoring stuff. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.